FIFA Referees Committee Chairman Pierre Luigi Colina, the Executive Committee of the Referees, the <coughs> Director of Referees, Mr. Massimo Busaka. Thank you so much for inviting us and having us in your space here in Botswana. It is actually a very important, it's a, it's a unique moment for me, because as I shared with you earlier, and I shared with, some, with the technical participants, that after all these years of being involved with refereeing, it's my first time here um, in Botswana, and I'm really privileged and happy to be part of this uh, important event. Bento and I take our roles um, very seriously, and we, we love what we do. But more importantly, we love working with people uh, that make refereeing work, that are interested in the development of refereeing. And yes, sir, I want to commend your refereeing department, uh, led by uh, Prajonti and the team. Because if I look at, because I, I was part of a refereeing development project for FIFA, if I look at how refereeing has developed in Botswana, we are pleased with the upward curve and trend that uh, him and his team have put together. And we know that that has come because of the driving force and the belief of the Botswana Football Association, led by you and the President and the National uh, uh, Committee, um, for seeing refereeing being developed. And so we thank you for, because sometimes, you know, refereeing always gets overlooked. Yeah. Uh, but as the TD pointed out, it's probably the one area where we don't accept mistakes. Um, and so thank you for, for for guiding and leading and also supporting the, the vision and the direction of the referees and the referees committee in Botswana. Um, and the growth in refereeing in Botswana certainly has been evident when we look at the products that have been produced over the years. And I want to acknowledge the huge impact that the refereeing of uh, Joshua Bondo has had on African refereeing. He's changed how referees do refereeing is a is a, been an amazing example and an ambassador not only for Botswana but for African refereeing and we want to acknowledge his contribution for refereeing in Africa. And recently Botswana has produced Lucky. Now please Lucky wherever you are please forgive the way I pronounce your surname. Kega Kole Getswe. Like in South Africa, ha. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now it sounds better. Uh, uh, and, and I just chatted with Bento briefly uh, yesterday and, this, and just a few moments ago and I asked, so how did Lucky go in the under 17? And he did very well. Um, and so congratulations to you and your team on producing the next generation after Joshua. Um, and so we encourage you. Yes, I agree. And so I encourage you, um, as instructors, to continue with your work. We need to take refereeing to the next level. We need to take up the next step. And so the question we are asked this afternoon is, uh, where are we going to make the difference? And how are we going to make that difference? And so we encourage you, in the next, over the next few days, to, like the TD said, to network with one another, learn from one another, Ask questions. Bento and I are open to all sorts of questions. And uh, as we learn, as we teach, we learn. Um, and as you teach, you learn. And we learn from you as well. So let's use this opportunity over the next few days to make the difference, to put Botswana onto the next level. You have reached a level, now let's go to the next level. Why can Botswana not be one of the big producing refereeing fraternities on the continent? Why not? You have the tools, you have the capacity, the ball is in your court. I said to the technical um, people that when your referees shine, you shine. And when you shine, we shine. We sit back and we say, we have done our job. Our job is to empower you to make a difference in the lives of refereeing. And when referees go well, the Federation gets more sponsorship because the football looks good. So you have a direct impact on the sponsorship and the, and the image of football in this country. Please take up that challenge to do a very good job. It is your founding president, Sir Seretse Kama, who said, we should write our history books to prove that we, that we did have a past 
and that it was just as worth writing and learning about as any others. We must do this for the simple reason that a nation and a people without a past is a people without a soul. Is officially opened <laughs> because uh, two great men have spoken. Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Jerome Damon. Thank you, uh, Mr. Bento, yeah. TD, and your staff here present. But I don't see a number of them here. Maybe you don't invite them. Uh, thank you, Region T, for making sure that this uh, program comes together. And most importantly, the participants that are here and the members of the fourth estate.